All right, I don't think that rest, uh, resets were nerfed because restands were nerfed. As you all know by now, you cannot throw kunai to pick people up. So people, a lot of the, the community is kind of in an uproar, an uproar, a good portion of uh, of the community. Um, and they're saying that, you know, restands took, took skill and that that really messes up the game and um, does make the game unique. Um, and, and I, I just, I just, uh, I don't understand it. Now this is up for a discussion. So I'm not saying there's a right way to think about it or a wrong way of thinking about it, but I'm just expressing that I strongly disagree. Um, yeah. So again, I don't think restands should have ever been in the game in the sense of being able to just pick somebody up from the ground you, using your Akuna. I mean, this is a free resource and out of the majority of the situations, you could always just kunai pick them up until whatever pressure you want to do, right? So let's say they're on the ground, you could always just come in, pick them up, put them in the guard pressure, right? I mean, that would just like an all day type thing. And again, I, like, I, I don't see the skill in that. You know, I mean, that isn't like character specific. You know, I mean, that isn't like character unique. That doesn't take any sort of labbing. And if you have cover fire, um, that was just a straight up free conversion, you know, um, it also pretty much completely eliminated downtime, um, especially if, let's say the opponent with that low health, they get and you get them in a hard knockdown. It doesn't matter if you can't convert because you can just throw a paper bomb, throw, uh, throw a kunai, pick them up and then bam, that's game, you know. Uh, obviously, Storm Four had had those kind of situations where, like, paper bomb still hit, still hits upon the grounded, um, and and certain jutsus hit, you know, hit grounded. Um, kunai still hit grounded in Storm Four, but you couldn't re you couldn't re stand the opponent. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Um, and again, and this is coming from somebody that I I use that, you know, I knew how to use it, and I knew what what to do uh or and i knew how how to deal with it um but resets don't rely on restands okay so you still have basic stuff like dashing just like that calling in your support all right and then opening opening them opening them back up you still have resets such as this all right force them back into guard pressure that way all right, uh, you still have reset as you're doing his AC. Well, I was a little slow, but doing his um, Minato's AC one and falling back down and to grab. You can make that a little bit more snappier, but you know uh, he doesn't want to do that for me at the moment. You still have other uh, resets where. Hold on. I'm doing I'm doing dumb stuff now. Doing stuff like All right, stuff like that. Opening opening them back up that way or the same way with his jutsu. All right, if you do it um you know, if it's clean, you you know, they will be able to uh, they'll have landing frames. So you you'll be able to punish that. Um and just like the, again, and those are just very basic examples and other like just knowing your character, right? So, for example, uh, his IC2 makes him crumple, right? But if you cancel his IC2 before it completes, they won't crumple and they'll be able to block again. So you see how he's able to block, right? So you can use that. There will be the stun time will be long enough to where they won't be able to ninja move out the way, so they'll have to block, and then you can use that time to come in for like a guard break or something. You know. All right, and there you go. Also, now there's a point to like a wake up pressure. You know, so there's a point to figuring out how you can maybe layer something. To, Pressure opponent on, on wake up to go into something, you know. I mean, I don't know, right? That just takes takes laughing. Um, 
real quick, let me show. Uh, and again, like these are just really quick examples. Like this isn't a reset video. I'm just showing you all examples. Um, it's like Naruto, Ashura. And we're gonna speak this tomorrow, tomorrow. So this is like going back to character knowledge. <clears throat> Knowing your character. So Naruto, I think is the IC3. Did you grab? You see how short the window is? Like the opponent not being able to um, like ninja move out the way. Like the time from when they recover from the stun and are able to block is like and the grab connects is very short. So that's another potential reset. And then also Naruto's J2 hits grounded, you know? So like, you, I mean, you have options. And then you have other things like Punish and Rebound with Tamari. All right, when they rebound, the second tornado will catch them. So if you have long ring Dutus or ultimates like RTB Sasuke, you can, you know, take those setups even further. Ashura has another one like character specific, like just something, an example. If we do a full up combo and you dash, right, they slide back down. But if you dash before the animation completes, right, they're still able to, um, they're able to rebound you don't interrupt them and you have time to land what gives you time to go for a setup or something all right obviously you don't miss but again there's that's the skill factor because now like you have the time and there's placement involved you know there's character knowledge involved there's labbing involved like stuff like that takes skill so um or tamari's j1 all right, that's a stun lock. I gotta, I gotta do that right. All right, that's a stun lock. So now you know that people can uh, rebound out of her J1, but if you don't want them to be able to do that, you can just throw a kunai and then, you know, um, it'll stun lock them back down to the ground. Same way with uh, tag. All right, there's a short stun lock there, which you can use to go for a grab. And they will be able to block again, but it's just a mix up, right? And, you know, again, potentially giving you opportunity to reset damage scaling. But these are just examples, you know, examples of there's plenty of ways to reset your opponent, to get your opponent back into guard pressure, but you just have to lab your character lab your team synergy resets they do not rely on restands they don't rely on kunai pickup they don't so those are just my thoughts on it um you know i mean i'm into, i'm down to hear what y'all got to say um but yeah that's that's uh that's it